Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how easy it is in DaVinci Resolve to do audio transitions. And these transitions will help your audio just kind of stand out and sound a lot more professional. It's really easy to do in DaVinci Resolve, so let's get started right now. Okay, I'm starting in the cut page today. If you need to get there, just hit the shift and number three key and you'll get right to the cut page. Your screen should look something like this. And up here I have the media pool open, so that's what you're seeing up here. This is what is under the playhead here. So this is just some video with some monologue here. And then we have some kind of some background music that picks up here. What I want to do is I'm going to start here on the cut page. And if you go here to the top menu here, you can see there's transitions. Go ahead and click that. And you can see there's video transitions, audio transitions, and you can do your favorites here as well. So to start off in DaVinci Resolve, it has crossfade transitions built into Resolve. And this is studio and free versions both have this so you're gonna have a plus 3 DB a minus 3 and a 0 DB and so we can just start with that with something to work with and so what I'm gonna do is put my transitions on this music because it kind of gets a little bit loud there and, and it kind of overlaps with the monologue so we'll go ahead and drag that onto the track there and since this is actually two audio tracks I'm gonna need one for each one and we can go ahead and stretch that out just a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the edit page, hit shift four to get there. All right, so on these tracks, you can see now we have these transitions kind of extend to that point there. So let's go ahead and listen Make to that. Noise in Jamaica. You can see that's not quite long enough. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. I'm gonna stretch out these transitions just beyond kind of the monologue there. I'm just grabbing the right side and I'm just holding down the left mouse button and pulling those out to get these longer. Uh, there's some other options. If you have the inspector open here, you can see it automatically defaults to transitions when you click on these. And it's going to show you what the, uh, the, the type is. And this was what we dragged and dropped. So you can start with zero, plus three, minus three. You can change them up here. I'm going to leave that on minus three. So we have a fade in and a fade out. And this is your alignment here, so we can center that. We can put that on the right side or left side. In this case, I want to be on the left side because I'm on the edge of these tracks when they start here. And I can set the amount of length here as well as, as dragging and dropping. Just as easy to do it there. And like I said, you can pull down this transition type. These are the preset settings there. If that's not open, if it's like that, just double click on that with your mouse button. And you can get this to open up. So what we can do if you get this set, now let's go ahead and listen to that now. Of your sale, make memories in Jamaica. So that's sounding quite a bit better. And you know, you're gonna wanna make sure you set your audio levels. Go ahead and we'll open that mixer make up. Memories so you can see everything Jamaica. coming in so we're not peaking here. And I always do my final mixing in the Fairlight page, but for now that's pretty good. Go ahead and close my mixer for now. So what also you can do, if you like that setting, you can right click on it after it's selected, but you can create a preset here. So if we click create a preset, you can say start something like that. So we'll hit go ahead and hit okay there. And now when we go to our transitions, we can see them here in the edit page as well. So if we go up here under toolbox, just make sure this effects library is open. Under Toolbox here, there's Audio Transitions, and so you can see our preset ones. And since we added this additional one, we save that. Now we see a new one under User. It's called Start a Track there, and it has that little icon. Uh, you can see the minus three is what we use, so it just kind of shows you what the setting is. Like I said, it's pretty simple to do these in DaVinci Resolve. I just want to get this video out for you guys. Obviously, in the tracks itself, uh, you can do some manual manipulation, and I'm going to cover that here as well. Yeah, so we want to make sure that we can see these waveforms pretty well here. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch out these tracks a bit here so we can take a look at them. And now we can really see what's in there. Um, so what we want to do, so we have these little points here. If we want this to fade, obviously we would just grab this and we can have that audio fade out. I wouldn't really want to do that because that's Sail. the vocals. Make memories. So let's go ahead and move that back. 
And so we could grab this one, instead of doing that transition, we could do that manually just like that. And we'd have to do that for this track as well. And so that's just gonna limit the amount of audio that gets output. And you can also add points here. Kinda gotta hover over it. Let's go ahead and get this transition out of there. There I have my point there. And so I can make this a curve. Yeah, so you can really fine tune what you want this to sound like and adjust this curve to your taste. That gives you a little bit more control. And so we'll take a listen to that. Canopy of your sail. Make memories in Jamaica. And unfortunately, there's really no way to save these. If you put these curves in there, there's really no way to put those into your saved archive here, these user transitions. So you have to do those manually each time that you do it. Uh, but that's not really that big of a deal. It's pretty simple to do, actually. All right. So hopefully those tips can help you guys out on making a little bit more of a polished transition between your audio clips. Basically Resolve makes the can version very simple. If you wanna do some fine tuning, it's really easy to do. And you can obviously save your any of the transitions that you make yourself. And so you can use those on future projects to save yourself a lot of time. Yeah, so hopefully that is helpful. If you have any questions on audio transitions, go ahead and post them in the comments and I will get back to you and try to provide an answer for you. Otherwise, take care. Thanks for watching.